my phone stand broke. If you guys haven't been able to tell so far, this is a video of my El Paso. I went to Parkland Elementary, Middle School, and High School, even though high school is the only one I actually showed in this video. Um, and then right across the street was La Taquisa, where I would go every single day for lunch with my best friends. If you ever find yourself hungry in Northeast El Paso, I would completely recommend it. They have really good burritos, and yeah, just, just go get there, get their food. Franklin Mountains is a view that I always grew up with. You can see it from my school, you can see it from my grandma's house. It's just always there. And that is actually my Texas tattoo that I was supposed to show you guys forever ago. I got the elephant on the mountains tattooed because I love elephants and I wanted a Texas tattoo because I'm Texan and every single Texan I know has a Texas tattoo. So I had to get one too. Yeah. And of course, university, you. And of course, UTEP was the university that I attended even though I didn't graduate. I still felt like I wanted to include it in my video because it was also a big part of my life. 
And so yeah, that is it for the first part of this video. <laughs>this video are all things that I didn't really experience so much until I was older. Scenic drive was something I had to drive over to get my driver's license because it's just like curves everywhere but I didn't actually go there to experience it with friends and stuff until I was in college and then a group of my friends and I just got drunk and went on up there to see the amazing view that it has to offer. Videos don't really do it much justice. The Lowbrow is a bar that is all about local artists and I completely love it. On the door it's covered with stickers, on the wall it's covered with posters of events and stuff that happen in El Paso 
And then in the bathroom is a bunch of drunk women who wrote on the walls and they kept it all there. And I think it is so unique. It's such a cool bar. I just freaking love the place. I worked there for a day just because I had nothing to do and uh, the bartender, bar manager at the time was just like, hey, come work if you want to. And I was like, yeah, I'm down. So that's when I had went and learned that it is all about local artists there. And they also, depending on what show there is, sometimes that they, they also have other people come in who sell drawings, stickers, people draw on skateboards, like all kinds of craziness. It is just a great, amazing, awesome place. I wish every single state had a bar like the Lowbrow, definitely. Not to mention, it is also the first place where I saw Cigarettes After Sex Live and kind of met Greg and Phil like really, really quickly. And Greg even gave me this awesome Cigarettes After Sex t-shirt which I would be rocking today if I wasn't already rocking an El Paso t-shirt. But yeah, they're, they're cool people. And then the last thing I just want to mention about this place is the dinosaur that I hugged at the end of the lowbrow was we had like a miniature golf place in El Paso. I think it was like putt putt golf or, some, or bobos or some, something like that. Anyways, they g ended up getting that dinosaur from that golf place and they wrote never forget on it. And I just think that's cool. Like they kept a part of El Paso history there. So yeah, definitely go check out the Lowbrow too. Love that place. The other bar in here, which I had to include because it was the first bar that I ever drank at legally. And it was like kind of across the street from the first apartment that I had ever owned, which was just made it convenient to always go there all the time. Uh, the people that work there are just super awesome. All of the games there are free. They, the owner is a cool dude. I hung out with him once and he bought everyone that was like in our group of people around the bar shot. So cool place. And of course this would not be an El Paso video if I did not include Chico's Tacos again. A lot of people say Chico's Tacos is only somewhere you eat when you're drunk, but it's not. It's amazing. I will eat Chico's Tacos any time of the day, even if they did change the cheese. I still approve of Chico's Tacos. It is my love kind of uh yeah so yeah <laughs> So that is it for my El Paso video. Uh, I'm sorry if it's weird me holding the phone. The my I ugh, just the thing broke and I yeah it's just complicated. But anyways, everything in this video is El Paso. So if you are from El Paso, if you're an El Paso native or just love it or know someone from El Paso and want a cool shirt like mine, then you can go ahead and check out Chuco Relic. I will leave their link in the description. They just have all kinds of cool clothing and stuff there. And for the talented El Paso ones that I include in my video, check out Bianca Youngblood. She's the one that makes these Tree of Life pendants. She can make it any color, any specific type of stone you want. She'll make custom jewelry or she just sells some that she's already pre-made. I have below a link to her uh, Instagram and her Etsy so you can go check it out, buy some jewelry from her. She's just super awesome, a cool person check out her jewelry buy some from her it is not just sweat that i have on my face i also have some of lily's highlight again um animal cruelty free 100 percent vegan it's good for your skin check out her highlight she makes all kinds of different colors whatever you want she also sells a lot of cool vintage clothes if you are into that so yeah check that out get a bunch of colorful highlights i have a really really green one that she made me for saint patty's day just whatever you want, she can make it. She's just like a master at highlights. I have to buy more from her still, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But check her out. I also have her Instagram and her Etsy linked down in the description below. If you like my thumbnail, give Jet Smoke a follow on Instagram and Twitter, which is linked below. She, I just think she's such a talented, unique person. I think she's so awesome. Um, just check out her work, buy her artwork. She also sells stickers, just 
she's also very, very talented. She's also done tattoos, like drawn up tattoos for people. So she's just a very creative, unique person. And I love her personality. Jed is a really good person. So yeah, of course you gotta hit her up too. And of course, last but not least, the lovely music I used in this video. If it doesn't sound the best, that is my fault. Don't blame the artist. The file that they sent me for the music, uh, gotten messed up somehow on my phone. So I actually just ended up going to their SoundCloud and recording it on my phone. So it's not the best quality because of me, but go ahead, definitely check them out. I enjoy their music very much. I think it's really cool and just chilling to relax too. So I've included everything down below. I have their Facebook, their Instagram, their Twitter, and their SoundCloud. Check them out. They're a super cool band. And my arm is getting very, very tired of holding my phone. And I feel like this video is going to be super long. So I'm going to end it right here and say thank you guys for watching my El Paso video. And it took me forever to upload it. And I apologize about that. But hopefully it was worth the wait. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. So bye guys.